few days ago, the Wildlife Defense League left for Vancouver on our first campaign, dubbed Operation Great Bear, and drove 23 hours to the sacred headwaters. The Sacred Headwaters is located in northern British Columbia. It's home to three of the largest salmon bearing rivers on the planet. It's also home to numerous species of wildlife, including moose, grizzly bear, black bear, wolf, and caribou. The Wildlife Defense League has been invited up by the Klobona Keepers because of a concern of overhunting in the Klopan Valley. So when we arrived in the Sacred Headwaters, we had a meeting with the Klobona Keepers, and it was decided that we would set up a blockade to the only road leading into the Sacred Headwaters. So sitting around the fire with the elders, we hear stories of, of driving up into the Klopan Valley, you know, 10, 15 years ago, uh, where they'd see a big bull moose, uh, a mother and a calf, or, you know, grizzly bears, black bears, and they're just not seeing that anymore. And that is because of, of overhunting. Uh, it's because of trophy hunting. It's why the Wildlife Defense League is here, and we're here to defend those animals, but also to defend the Klobona keepers and to support them. Before we go up this area up Klopan, you could see way out on even on the side of the road, you'll see caribou grazing and all that, moose feeding, everything like that. Even the wild birds, they're like swan geese, they'll be right in the pond going up. Nowadays, you see nothing, nothing at all. They really abuse our land, like killing our animals just for the antlers and whatnot. So that's, that's about time that the government or we, we ourselves take this in our hands because time and time again we, went, we go have these meetings and we'll bring up this about our wildlife to the people, our leaders, but they don't seem like they want to hear anything about it. I feel it in my heart that I'm very hurt about how this that's why I'm really trying my best to talk about this right now because I, it, for the future of my grandchildren and my, my grandchildren's to come and their children to children's to come when I'm no longer around. So they could have something left what I, what I love so dearly left to them. So the Wildlife Defense League will be at the blockade until all resident hunters are evicted from the Klopan Valley. You know, it's, it's inspiring to be out here with fresh air and fresh water, but you know, it really cements why we're here. We're here to defend wildlife, uh, to stop people from killing animals for trophy, and to also stop exploiting wildlife, and, and also to support the Klobona keepers uh, in their fight to protect their land. Klobona is the sacred headwaters of the Stikine, Skeena, and the Nass rivers. Long ago, our people established laws to protect the land and waters and the animals and plants that live among us. We have a solemn duty and responsibility to those who came before and those to follow to protect this place. There are places within our territories we are willing to share with those who come to us in respect. Those who recognize our place on this land and those who understand we have traditions and laws we are obliged to honor. This place can remain in wonder and inspiration for all, for all time, if only we respect its beauty and richness. <laughs>